Hi again. Now we are going to have a small talk with Professor Abhijit Sengupta from Nehru University in New Delhi. Please, Professor, could you tell us what inspired you in writing your paper and your presentation? Right. Thank you very much. Uh, if one looks at the experience of the last two years, one finds that there has been a significant increase in volatility of capital flows into emerging markets. And this has happened primarily because of reasons that are completely outside the control of these developing countries. But on the other hand, this has led to a large number of problems in terms of exacerbating some of the existing financial fragilities uh, that are already present in, the, in these countries and thereby leading to asset price booms and uh, on the verge of a financial crisis. Uh, secondly, it has created problems for overall macroeconomic management of the economy in what is known as the impossible trinity, where countries in the face of a massive inflow of capital find it very difficult to both simultaneously manage their monetary policy as well as their exchange rate. Uh, so therefore, in, 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 in this paper, what I do is that I look at this issue of how India has managed the overall capital flows over the last 20, 25 years and how it has tackled this problem of impossible trinity. And how, what, what has been the, the Indian experience in this and what could the other developing countries learn from this experience? So the Indian experience has some very good insights for some of the other developing countries because primarily what, sees, what one sees from looking at India is that India has juggled the three corners of the impossible trinity. That is, it has for some part of the time allowed capital to come in but has restricted it when it find, found it very difficult to manage the other issues. It has uh, asserted monetary independence most of the time and it has also managed the exchange rate to ensure competitiveness of its exports but also has allowed it to appreciate when, when it was required. Uh, this, this policy of uh, managing the impossible trinity by juggling the various objectives has proved quite beneficial to India because it has managed the last 10 years to have very high growth rates, uh, relatively low inflation, a stable current account deficit, and it has been one of the most attractive destinations for capital flows. Uh, so if one studies the Indian case, it can, it can provide several very illustrative uh, examples to other developing countries. Well, thank you very much for your comments. Thank you.